guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to review how my game week 2 went on. First of all, I'm going to have a look at my midi league. And we've got Ant Dawson holding first position, only just though. Uh, Callum um, second place, just four points behind. And then in third place, we've got Tom Armstrong. So yeah, it's been an interesting one. I think one guy dropped out of the league, but as you can see, we've got one guy coming in, so it'll be back to 11, well, uh, from game week three. It's going to be an interesting one. I'm now smack bang on 100 points. I had a slightly better game week two than game week one, but I'm going to need to make a few substitutions over the next few weeks to improve my team. Like, uh, Ian Acho looks like he's not getting the time I wanted him to get, and... Cavani, well, there's rumours going around about him that like he's not going to get much game time this week and this season, sorry. And so far, he's not had much. But yes, um, going forward, yeah, I'm going to make a few transfers over the next um, few game weeks to strengthen the squad up. But yes, how did I do points wise? I got 53. The average was 56, so a little bit below average. I'm slightly up in everything except for the, the Let's Talk FPL one, which I dropped it down a little bit in. I had two um, auto subs, Taggart didn't play, Cavani didn't play. So Tierney and Saka come on. Tierney though is currently showing as having a thigh injury, so I don't know what I'm going to do yet regarding him. Because I was hoping he'd be fit for Norwich and Burnley, because... I, I was expecting him to get some up there, but if he's not going to be fit, then I, I could keep him for an extra week, couldn't I? And get, I don't know. I'm going to have to do a lot of thinking with him, but yeah, I'm considering getting rid of him, considering what I'm doing with Saka, considering Dallas, uh, and then Firmino, and Inacho. So yeah, a lot of thinking going ahead. Because I don't know what to do. Firmino's another one who's not getting the game time I was hoping he'd get. That's the only people really nailed on at the moment is Alexander Arnold and Greenwood. What was the scores for this game week? It was uh, Liverpool beat Burnley 2 0, Aston Villa beat Newcastle 2 0, uh, Crystal Palace and Brentford goalless draw, Leeds and Everton 2 all, Manchester City beat Norwich 5 0, uh, Brighton beat Watford 2 0, Southampton and Manchester United 1 all draw, Spurs beat Wolves 1 0. Chelsea beat Arsenal 2 0 and West Ham beat Leicester City 4 1. Um, I've already made a couple of swaps around here, which I'll go into more detail um, when I talk about my game week 3 squads because I'm still going to make a change or two and make a transfer. Um, but yes, deadline is going to be on Saturday at 11 o'clock, so I'll upload my Game Week 3 squad reveal on Friday at 3pm. The fixtures this season, this week sorry, will have Manchester City against Arsenal, uh, Aston Villa against Brentford, Brighton against Everton, Newcastle against Southampton, Norwich against Leicester, West Ham against Crystal Palace, Liverpool against Chelsea, Burnley against Leeds, uh, Spurs against Watford and Wolves against Manchester United. So there's some interesting going, um, interesting games there. Um, yeah, I will be making one substitution before. Well, before we go into this um, game week, just have a look at your fixtures. Okay. But yes, I don't want to waffle on too much, but I'm hoping. In my mini league, I can get more points than Brett again and um, catch him up. He's 17 points ahead at the moment. Um, I think he had an injured player. Oh, yeah, he hadn't got with a try. Oh, he had and he's got Watkins as well. He might not play. Yeah. Um, we'll see how things go. But, yeah, I'm going to finish this uh, video here, guys. If you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. That way, if you're not fired of any future FPL content here, and if you did like this video, make sure you hit the like button. It tells you guys have enjoyed it, and it helps the channel grow. So it helps me out massively. It's very much appreciated. But anyway, we're going to finish it here. I'll see you in the next one. Nice one, guys.